Welcome back. So in this part, we are going to understand the concept of fragments and see how we can use the fragments in order to make our user interface more responsible for the various Android phones having the various screen sizes. In order to show why we need the fragments in our application, I have chosen the previous project called Progress Bar. Now to understand this, let us divide the Android Studio itself into three different parts like this. Now let us also consider that these three different parts of the Android Studio can be considered as the three different screen state of our same application. Let us assume that this one is this one be the first screen, this one be the second screen, and this one be the third screen. At first, user is only going to see this first screen, which has the list of items presented in the list view. And whenever the user clicks on one of the list item then the user is going to see the second screen and the first screen is going to be placed at this stack and this will not be visible to the user right so and whenever the user clicks or performs some operation on the second screen then the user is going to see the third screen and he will not going to see the second screen and we have also shown the same thing here whenever the user clicks on the activity underscore main XML then, then the user will go to this screen and whenever the user performs some operation or click on this screen then the user is going to see the this screen here basically the user is going to see the only one activity at the particular time this model of communication works perfectly fine whenever we run our application in the small screen size Android phone but this does not look efficient and does not look efficient in terms of layout and the UI perspective whenever we run the same application in the larger smartphone. So let me show you what I mean here. And if we use our model without the fragment as that of previous one, then this is what we'll get in the large screen size Android phone. And you can see that it has lots of spaces available in this screen, but we are not making the use of it. And whenever whenever a user click on this activity underscore main XML, then the user will go into this space. And you can see here it has also lots of spaces that we have not used it, right? So and when the user clicks on this clicks on some button or perform some operation then the user will going to see this page and here also there are lots of spaces available that we have not make use of it so when we run our application in the large screen android devices then our application cannot make the proper use of available space on this screen that's why android has come up with the new concept called fragment okay so and now let me show you what it exactly looks like in our real smartphone. So here I'm running the Genymotion emulator and I'm inside the email application. And this is the first screen of this application and it has shown the list of emails in the list view. And when I click on one of these emails then it is going to show the details of that news in the different screen like this. So this kind of interface looks very nice whenever we have to work or whenever we have to show our application in the small screen Android phone like this. So let us let us consider that we have to run our application in the larger screen Android phone as that of this. So we are just basically not making use of this available screen on the Android devices. So let's see how they have solved this problem. So here I'm opening the BlueStack application which has considerably large screen size as that of our Genymotion emulator. And in the left part of this screen you can see that here is a list of emails shown in the list view. And in the right part of this screen we can see the details of that particular news section. And when I click one of these links then it is going to dynamically update the details of that particular news in the right side. So this is how they have used the fragments in order to properly make use of large screen size while delivering the content of our application. So I hope you got the concept 
of how we can use the fragments in order to make our user interface more responsible and show and show the content in a more appropriate way when we have the various screen sizes so in the next part we are going to see the life cycle of the fragments so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next part